We've been up, down, left, right, and just about everywhere this week. Back in the bakery. It's so hot in here. Anything to report? That you love your boss or anything like that? <laughs> that you love your job or anything like that? We actually then headed to Carnarvon. It got a little bit busy at one point. So I actually left there feeling so much more confident and I think they felt so much more confident after us being there. Oh my God, have you done this before? This week I have spent most of my time here at the bakery. <laughs> So all of the cakes start their journey here, they're made here. So it's so important that we get the foundations right so that when those cakes then make their journey out into the world, be that to direct a customer on an online order or to the stores to then be sold to the customers. It's so important that they're made spot on here every time. So with that in mind, I have spent my week working on productivity, so making sure cakes can go out the door fast enough, but also quality control, so making sure that everything is tasting and looking as good as it should. Unfortunately, um, the quality of the cakes is not where it should be. Again, that shouldn't be any one person's responsibility. I think, like, Alison has got a lot on her shoulders running the place, so quality needs to be everyone's responsibility. I mean, actually, we shouldn't be getting this situation. We shouldn't be having complaints at this point. So at this time, we are working on perfecting what we've got because we probably have grown too quickly a number of times along this journey. And it has meant that quality drops or, or that cakes don't go out the door quick enough. So now is the time that we stop look at what we've got so far and just look at improving everything that we're doing. When we bought you back, we did 2,818 and 94 trays, which makes the total trays made of 1,785, which is me, you and Alison. Uh, me, you and Bart. I was about to say, I'm Bart now. <laughs> In December, we were only open for 20 days because the bakery closed for 10 days. You did 2,027 trays total. The majority of that was gift boxes. There's now four of you in here for all 30 days, and it's 1,640. So you'll double your workload, but 20% down on production. Right. So when you see it like that, it's like, okay, there is something going on. So although I guess I'm here to crack the whip a little bit, there is always a lot of laughs to be had. I've said this before and I'll say it again, the team here are the biggest bunch of goons ever. Um, and so it's just so nice to be here. They crack me up. Oh yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so Alison is currently um, sorting M&Ms. Um, when the team have been naughty, we give them pointless top. No, uh, we're looking for... <laughs> God, they didn't give us many red. No, it's not green. A lot, a lot of green. Christmas colours right there. <gasps> Alison, there's an orange in there. <laughs> we have had behind the scenes quite a nightmare here and it's impossible to show it on camera because it is just heat. Um, we've had a hot summer. This place keeps the heat in. It is like an oven in itself. So stage one of cooling has been done this week and we're all so happy. We've got air conditioning in our office and in our packing room. Of course, we couldn't get air conditioning installed and not have a little bit of fun with it. Bart's building the furniture in there and he's been in a maximum bad mood. So I thought, let's turn the new air conditioning on to maximum heat and see if we can cheer him up a bit. Warm up that cold, cold atmosphere. So another change that we've got here in the bakery itself is that with a bigger team means a place needed for us all to be. So we have set to work on creating an office space 
that my ever-growing team can all sit in, do their work in, and so we can all be together. And actually, what I have realized is working in a team and sharing and bouncing ideas off each other is such a good thing. So it's nice that we have now got this space to hang out together. Hang out together. <laughs> to work from together. And obviously, myself and Tom were maximum help when it came to putting the new furniture up. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Another thing I wanted to do while I've been here this week is play around with a few different ideas. So my baking style is quite experimental. Things don't always go to plan. Um, and I had in my mind a vision for a Battenberg, but with brownies and blondies. And well, I feel like maybe we'll just let you see what happened. <laughs> We've been tasting the marzipan with, this is some Biscoff. We tried a little bit of cookies and cream and then some bueno sauce as well. But basically, because marzipan is such a strong flavour, well, quite a distinct flavour, it was like fighting against the other flavours, so you ended up with just like something quite confusing in your mouth, so uh, that wasn't good. So we've gone with some marmalade because uh, I think fruity and almond will be quite nice together. Uh, so I'm going to lay on the blondie and the brownie now, roll it up and hopefully it will resemble uh, Battenberg, but at this point I'm not so sure. What I do is I come, up, I come up with the ideas and the bare bones of it and then I go to Alison. Alison, make this look better. So soon it won't be my problem anymore. I think we're good. Well, maybe good is an overstatement, but I think My job here is done. I'm a professional. I've made this. Oh my gosh. The trouble is, right, the blondie yeah, is the brown. same colour as the brownie because of the brown sugar. I think we'd need to do it right. with white sugar. So it's not blonde enough? No. It's <sighs> not a very blonde blondie. Oh, looking at it, it's actually just a total fail, isn't it? We'll do it again, but... <laughs> I shouted it. You meant to press it when I say it. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll go like that. I'll do it again, but off the marzipan. Is that going to work? <laughs> so I then set to work on trying creation number two, and I was determined to not fail on two of the baking ideas that I had. So what I'm doing now is I'm making cheesecake bombs. I've had an idea, right, again, not my own idea, but inspired by someone else's idea. Um, cheap deep fried, very annoying. Deep, deep. <laughs> Whose show is this? But what my idea was, was a cheesecake coated in batter, deep fat fried, so it's almost like donut on the outside and then cheesecake in the middle, served in the cafes with dipping sauce of Nutella. So I got to work on trying to make this creation come to life. Uh, I'm gonna batter the cheesecake chocolate bombs, then I'm gonna put them in the freezer again and then we're going over to Abba Cafe. Um, to deep fat fry them. So, watch the space, I can't get my... <laughs> While I'm here, I thought I'd just quickly revisit the Battenberg um, to see if it was as big a disaster as I thought. Yesterday it was quite late um, and my head was all a tears because I thought I'd create something really wonderful and it turned out to be rubbish. So. Just gonna, just gonna double confirm that it is rubbish, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. I will perfect this Battenberg. I promise you. It's just the weirdest sort of mixture of flavors. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be the thing that makes the millions, if I'm honest. Uh, but it will be once I perfect the recipe. Hi, What do you think of the Battenberg? 
It's really bad. <laughs> you put so much in your mouth as well. Yeah, it's really bad. Talk me through the flavours. Uh, marmalade? <laughs> yeah, it's not good, is it? It's just not good. No, we'll revisit it. Tom took the foot I don't know, for, for, um... <laughs> So at the time of filming this, downstairs the little cheesecake balls are freezing. So I have no idea if it's going to work or not and I am praying to the cake gods that one out of two will work. Um, so we will see. I'm going straight after this over to the cafe so you will find out at the same time as me if it is another complete disaster or if I've just created the most delicious thing on the whole planet. Okay, I'm going to start with one. Here we go. Oh, she'd be a bubbling. Oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm going to die. I'll put two in next time. Oh my god, they're so messy. Oh my god, that is so good. That being said, hopefully they are super delicious and something that we want to roll out and we work out a way. So watch this space, maybe you'll see them in a cafe soon. So that's us. This week has been a lot of fun here in the bakery. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And as ever, if you have, like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. <laughs>